We're out here, day two, day two of the coronavirus reviews. These are called the corona reviews. We're social distancing, but I had extreme issues. I lost the camera guy, camera guy Brett. He's scared, he's scared of the coronavirus. What an idiot. Oh, what a loser. Good, good. More for me and you. I told him like, yeah, it's stupid, don't worry about it. The fear got to him, yeah. I'm no punk bitch. I ain't no punk bitch, neither. I'm no I'll punk bitch. And yeah, about the fear, like yo, you can walk around these streets and you can smell the fear. You can smell it on people, dude. People are scared. And like rightfully so. I wouldn't want like a, a crazy ass like illness, you know, but like this ain't the black plague. If you take a con contrarian opposite view on this whole corona thing, yeah. automatically, like, I'm the person that just wants to kill my grandparents, apparently. Like, I have a bunch of boys I'm in a group chat with from Rutgers. Dude, they are all, like, supposedly intelligent people. Yo, sick soul patch, by the way. Bro, you look like vanilla ice. Dude, thank you. That's exactly what I was going for. And they're all wilding. They're all wilding out. Like, let's just look at the data. Likely, a bunch of people had it, got rid of it. They're not even getting counted in, and the number's actually, like, a 0.6 death rate whereas you know seasonal flu is like 0.1 to 0.4 percent quick mess people just want to hear what they want to hear you know they love the fear they love the drama people deep down like they want to go out and buy 2,000 rolls of toilet paper boy that escalated quickly I mean that really got out of hand fast I hate the fear mongers you know these infectious disease dudes that are just like Everybody's gonna die, like they're pure nerds. This is what gets them fucking, gets their rocks off, you know? Like they get excited as fuck. It's kind of like when the weatherman gets on, we could see 25 inches of snow this weekend, or we could also see two inches of rain. Let's just pump that, 25 inches of snow is coming. Yeah, I think it's just gonna wash over, and I think, you know, in a couple months, we're gonna be drinking some Coronas. It's always darkest before dawn, you know? I promise you, the dawn is coming. But I guess the moral of the story is, I'm looking for a camera guy. <laughs> All right, so today we're going out to Steve's, the original Steve's Prince of Steaks on Bustleton Avenue, the non-chopped. I think it's a big deal, you know, the chopped steak and the regular steak. I do review a lot of chopped steaks and it's not my favorite. And I just want to let people know, like, that doesn't influence my score. Like, if you get an 8.7 and you got a chopped steak, that's because you just deserved an 8.7, even though I don't prefer that. And I would probably take an 8.2 regular steak over an 8.7 chopped steak. Just what goes into the calculations, is the flavor of the meat, the quality of the roll, the onion, the substance, the bite, like how it feels in your mouth. That's what she said. <laughs> the bread is like such a key factor, it such a key ingredient, as you can see. When you get shitty bread, you end up quickly into like the sixes and the fives and the four level. And then the last thing I want to say that does matter is price. The price is wrong, bitch. I want to talk about reality TV shows that my girlfriend watches. These things annoy the fuck out of me. We're talking about shows like Blind Date or some Blind Marriage, it should be called. If I had to watch another one of those shows, I'm gonna literally kill myself. That's the problem. Thank you so much. She also watches like Real Housewives in New Jersey. Those shows are part of the reason like that people are just like miserable. Like I'll be like, tell my girl, I'll be like, dude, these are horrible people. Like they're miserable, they're walking around, they got like 30 Botox injections, like, bitching at their friends all day. Ow. Hello, hello, what? hello. Okay. Don't you ever. She's a walking yeast infection. Bro, you think it's funny, but that stuff rubs off on you no matter what. Another thing my girl was talking to me about, which I think needs to be noted, what's called, she calls Peter Pans. The people in general that are like 30 to like 35 years old, moderately successful single dudes don't have any kids have like a lot of toys a lot of free time completely fuck around bachelors oh! fuck yes boom yeah man she calls them peter pans and she hates them she calls them peter pans is like they're never growing up they're never growing up what is wrong with someone just living their life to, like as a single bachelor guy that likes to date like younger girls like little haters aka my girlfriend out there you're a father now jordan yeah you're a father now i know and you're still acting yes. like an infant Fuck! god damn it all you peter pans out there in the world i just want you know keep going sprinkle the fucking fairy dust go out there go hit the hit the clubs this summer if they're open go talk to some 22 year old girls you know what i mean i get older they stay the same age <laughs> Hashtag Peter Pans. I always think it's funny too when the, the kind of like the older chicks, and I say older, I'm talking like 30 now. 
my age grade that like hate the younger like oh my god what is he doing what is she doing with him like how are they they don't have anything in common like he's 30 and she's 22 years old and just got out of college mind your damn motherfucking business bitch. i did want to talk about jeff bezos he's got his head shaved he's got his leather jacket on he's like i'm fucking taking billions to the bank which leads me into my next thing i wanted to talk about real quick the horseshoe on top of the head, you know, like the dudes, the old dudes with the horseshoes, you know, cause Jeff Bezos, he got the horseshoe, got it pretty early and he shaved it, pretty much changed his life. Dude, I have a friend, I won't even call him a friend. It's like a, more like an associate. He was like 29, 31 or something. And he had this straight horseshoe. And like one day I was chilling with him and like, he was like, man, like kind of depressed. Like I looked right at him and I said, I said, yo, you gotta shave that fucking horseshoe off, dog. <laughs> Gave it to him just straight. I was like, dog. You need to shave that shit the fuck off. You can see it like kind of like hurt him a little bit that I mentioned the horseshoe at the time. <sighs> but he knew we, deep down they had to do it. I saw him like three months later and he'd done it. He, it was like, he was like a different person. He walked up, he had like a, he had different clothes on. He was like, he had been hitting the gym. He was looking tough. Mia, you better hide your baby all. I'm just playing. <laughs> you better hide that big ass forehead. <laughs> I was just joking. He's like, dude, he's like, I I wouldn't have done it without shaving off my head. And like he gave me, dabbed me up and was like, thanks. So anybody out there got a horseshoe, shave that shit the fuck off. It's a pro tip right there. This place looks legit. Let me get a one pro one Yeah. I only been to the center city one. Yeah, that's why I heard. That's why I came out. I'm like, kind of stoked. There you go. Should I get a cheese fry? Yeah, I gotta get a cheese fry. Do this, but, yeah, desperate times. Probably need, probably need another one. Need another one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. First, let's see what the fries look like. They look good. That's too hot. Pretty good. Yeah, decent. Yeah, it's hard to fuck up cheese fries, yeah. Yeah, they're crispy. They're good. Yeah, they're good. Did I lose my cherry pepper? That's not acceptable. Yeah, the guy gave me a cherry pepper. I asked for a cherry pepper on the side, and he gave me one. Nice looking steak. Not sure what kind of roll this is. Oh, looking good in there. Oh, yeah. They cooked the steak up fresh. Look really good. Oh, yeah, we got probie melted throughout. Just how I like it. I got a good feeling about this steak already. All right. Mmm. Tasty ass cherry pepper. In the car, don't matter. We got the ketchup. Ketchup mafia for the squad. Wow, that's really good. Practically melts in your mouth. Mmm. Wow. They don't chop up the steak, but the steak is so tender, they don't need to chop it up. You see how I bite into it? It just boom, rips. Look. Look at that. Barely even biting. Mmm. Really good cherry pepper. It's not too hot. This was this is really good. I don't know what kind of roll this is exactly, but it's it's a nice soft roll. It's, it's a, almost feels like they toasted the outside of it. Soft roll, which, but they toasted the outside of it. Mmm, cheese is melted throughout the steak. As you can see, fried onions are perfect. Not too undercooked. I like mine a slightly undercooked compared to some people. Nobody likes those nasty, soggy ones. You know what I'm saying? This is really good. I could eat this probably every day. Steve's Prince of Steaks doing it big. They're doing big things right here. This is the original. I've been to the one in Center City. Definitely not even close. It's not even close to this. The one in Center City is kind of greasy. Mmm. 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 I'm going... 8.9, 8.9, it was tough. I was about to go into the nines. It's a little too soft to get in there, you know what I mean? A little too soft. That's a 
banging ass steak, banging. I'm in. Wow.